In this video, we'll explore setting up a virtual private server on which to host the script. I've chosen Amazon Web Services because they offer a 12 month free account trial. However, if you're a returning customer, a server that will suit the purpose is about $4 a month. After creating your account, click sign into the console to continue. On first entering the console, you're greeted with a menu. We want to pick Elastic Cloud Computing or EC2. This is where all our instances can be launched. So I will look for the launch instance button and they ask us to give the server a name. Oops, AWS Claimer. Then it asks us to pick an operating system all my instructions on GitHub are based around the Ubuntu operating system or Ubuntu embedded within Windows. We'll look for the T2 micro server type, which has one CPU unit and one gigabyte of memory. It's going to ask us to create a key pair, which is a replacement for the password. As I don't have a key pair, I'm going to create a new one and select the PPK type and RSA and I'm going to call that simply AWS. It's now saved that key to my local computer. As we scroll down, we'll create a new security group that will allow us to log in from anywhere. And the standard storage size is for eight gigabytes. Once we reach the bottom there, we can just click on create instance. The great thing about these Amazon services and they're very fast. So now if we come back to the instances page, we can find we have an IPv4 address by which we can connect to the instance. Don't worry if you're not familiar with the websites that we're using. I'll include the addresses in the description below. Normally to connect to the instance, I would use a Windows based program such as WinSCP or PuTTY. However, today we're going to use Shell NGN because it's web based and really simple to do. The first step is to log in with Google. Once we're logged in, we can see front and center the big red button to add a new server. So I'll click that. It's going to ask us for a server name. I shall call it AWS Claimer. It's going to ask us for the host name which is the IP address that Amazon have just given us. The port is default 22. We're going to select to log in by key file and the login username will be Ubuntu, which all these Amazon uh, default usernames are. And if I click on browse, it's now going to let me look for the PPK that I just saved. And finally, we can save that. Now, if we click on AWS Claimer at the bottom, it's hopefully going to make the connection to our server. And as we can see, here's our Ubuntu 24 server already for use. Now let's proceed to the next video where we'll see how to set up the script on Ubuntu.